Wow. I think there's actually no car, no one in there. Wow, this is incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> On San Francisco street, something straight out of a sci-fi film is happening. People are able to hail cabs with no driver, fully autonomous robo taxis. Some love it. I cannot believe this is happening. But others believe it's too soon for fully driverless cars to be on our streets. The public as a whole has not been provided with valid documentation that these vehicles are going to be safe. There's only one way to find out. Get into one of these cars ourselves. The BBC was one of the first media organisations in the world to try it. Is this it? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Hi, uh, Take a seat in the back and close the doors. Buckle up and get ready to ride. Start your... Our plan for the evening is to go to some of San Francisco's landmarks, the Painted Ladies, Mrs. Doubtfire's house, and Hate ashbury No one's telling us where to go. We can go wherever we want. It's really, really weird. Isn't that like a racetrack or a testing facility. We are fully in the center of San Francisco. It's like going on a roller coaster or something. That feeling before where you just, you know you're probably gonna be fine, but it it's still weird. Uh, what's going on here? So how does it negotiate this? I have to say, it's pretty conservative driving. Like, we got to that stop first. And now we're going. So, um, it's definitely cautious. And that's no accident. Cruise's vice president of product, Oliver Cameron, tells me the cars are programmed to drive conservatively. On any of our cruise AVs, we have LiDAR, we have radar, and we have cameras. And what we do is we fuse all those together using machine learning, and that gives us this amazing understanding of the world around us. By design, we're making our AV extra cautious when it hits the roads. The problem was the system didn't always put me at ease. In fact, it made me pretty nervous. Oh, the car has just stopped in the middle of the street. Oh, that... I'm glad you were filming that. Because <laughs> that was a really jerky left turn into the into the other road. Seems, oh, this is interesting. Okay, there's a bus in our lane and there are cars to our left. So what's it gonna do? Oh, oh. Okay, it's oh. pulling out left. Oh, and now the bus is coming out right. It really doesn't know what to do. Oh, there's a car behind us. Like, this is just bad driving. This is, I, 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 I was ready to love this and I'm definitely, I'm definitely nervous. I'm a nervous passenger right now. One of the things I think is worth factoring is that our AV makes different decisions than humans. In many cases, our AV makes human-like decisions, but sometimes it makes decisions that are very precise, like a, a computer is making them, right? Which is effectively what's happening. So that moment, although it felt dangerous, you're saying wasn't, the computer knew what it was doing. Exactly, yes, correct. Interesting. Cruise, though, has been involved in a number of accidents in San Francisco this year, most of them minor. However, after an accident in June, its software was recalled. And some believe it's too soon for real passengers to be driven around without a driver on urban streets. These vehicles are still somewhat in the test phase and, and Cruise is has decided to deploy them in, in certain areas where they will interact with the public. and. We believe that before manufacturers do that, they need to provide the public with some sort of transparent evidence that these vehicles aren't going to cause problems, deaths, or injuries on the road. But Cruise insists its cars are safe. Uh, we're really proud of our safety record, and uh, we report continuously to our, our regulators, and safety absolutely is the, the top priority at Cruise. We are six months into deploying this product brand new game-changing product, and with that comes some early teething problems, right? So we take traffic into account, but we also take safety into account. 
Cruz has just started accepting fares in San Francisco at night. The public are actually using this, and it'll be launching in Austin and Phoenix by the end of the year. As for our journey, well, we visited all the sites we wanted to see, albeit through some strange routing, and made it back safe and sound. It was amazing, surreal, scary, all in one. Bye. Um, that was a really bizarre experience and an unnerving experience. Okay, so, oh, oh, whoa. Not a scratch on us, but definitely did some things during that ride that made me feel uncomfortable. Ooh, what's happened there? It definitely needs a bit more work. <laughs>